Hello and welcome back to another video in the scene editor for Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Today we're going to have a look at how you can make your own prefab. And if you don't know what a prefab is, it's basically a set of entities put together so you can very fast and easily place it down. Uh, a very good example of this would be a table like this. So it's very fast to actually just place a table with uh, a bunch of food and stuff on it rather than uh, placing a table, the benches, and placing each thing separately. So I have uh, went ahead and uh, done a few things myself. So I have created a board trophy, which is basically three entities put together. And if we search for board, you can also see that there's two versions. So this is the original and then there's the trophy one and um, I've done the same for this lordly table as I call it and um, first I basically made all this and I'm going to show you how we can do the exact same thing so that we can nice and easily just play something like that and just to show it again we have the lordly table and you can turn it around, scale it up and down, move it up and down of course, as always. Uh, very easily and very nice to do. Uh, over here there's uh, this common prefab used. Um, and I noticed that there wasn't a card full of the rocks, so I decided to sort of make my own uh, with these merchandise stones and I've also added this end. So we're going to turn this into a prefab as well. So let's get started. At first you would have to find one of these entities that you want to be basically the parent of the others. And it will also be that entity that you can see when you search for your prefab. Um, I haven't actually figured out how you can change the image. So if any one of you guys know that, feel free to leave a comment and I will make sure to pin it. If I figure it out myself, I will also leave a comment and pin that. But uh, it's basically the same. So in this case, we will make a lordly table too. And um, just to have a bit of a variety on it, perhaps we should just go ahead and copy a few of these just so there are some minor changes you know um, in case you don't know how to do this you basically click on it hold down shift and G so rather easy perhaps this one should be a little larger something like that all right so now there are some changes so I want to use the table as the parent again and uh, to easily find this one if you are in a scene with a bunch of these it can be a bit hard to find it so you go up to the name and this name will also be important later for your table and the name of the prefab so lordly table do let's just call it that and you basically just go ahead and make sure to have every entity selected that you want. Um, just like that. Uh, didn't have the fur. And then you're going to see. And you can see all the entities selected. And when you do that, you need to find the lottery table too or whatever you have called the parent. Uh, let's see, there it is. You just hold on control and deselect it. And with all the others, you just right click and say assign new parent. This lists all the entities currently placed inside the scene. So just go down until you find whatever you called the parent entity. In this case, I called it Lordly Table 2. Click on that, hit OK. And now it's actually act 
actually just one prefab but it's not saved so that's going to be the next step but if you're just making uh, one particular scene where you just want a prefab like this or just want to combine a bunch of uh, entities together this is basically what you do but now we want to save this prefab so we can use it again in other scenes and all you have to do is select it it doesn't really matter where you click because it's uh, basically just one entity right now that's what a, a prefab is so you go up here I've already named what I want to call it and you hit save as I recommend that you either put it in native or if you're working on a mod or whatever put it in that but native is fine hit OK and now we are going to um, save the prefab so uh, let's start from the beginning choose the folder where you will save these um, prefab so I think there's uh, one called props furniture I think that's fine and you depending on whatever you have made you might want to save the rotation the scale and the position so if you have saved your prefab and it looks a bit weird compared to what you did in the beginning I would say that you should probably make sure to check this and you can also save the XML using reverse order um, from what I can understand it basically means that if you have made some changes to it you can reverse and go back to what it originally looked like and you can of course just hit save now but uh, I would recommend that you save to a new file and I will show you in a moment why so let's go ahead and do that and we just call it the same as the prefab itself that just makes it uh, way easier to find the file and remember what it is all right now when you have done this you have a prefab but there's some issues with that um, if you want to work on a mod or something like that because uh, let's say that you are a group of um, scene makers and you're all gonna use this prefab you want to share that file so you go into steam steam apps common find mountain blade banner load of course modules native and then there's a folder called prefabs in prefabs i'll just refresh you can see all the prefabs and uh, some of them have uh, several prefabs inside of them um, from what i know at least so you just go down and you can see i have locally table one and two and two is the new one so rather small file size as well so it's way easier to just uh, copy this and put it into a zip file or whatever and send it over to your friends or whatever you do working on all right so that's how you make a prefab and um, you might be wondering well how can we be sure that it's actually there now uh, I will search for search for lordly and you can see it's here and uh, there are some minor differences to these two versions but basically it allows us to just uh, place entities a lot faster um, I would recommend that you make these prefabs in one scene and not the exact scene you want them then um, mainly to avoid um, clicking on entities that you don't want to be part of the prefab so let's say I had made this inside a castle and without me knowing it I had actually selected the floor which is part of the castle and then the castle would be part of that prefab so that's quite a, a problem anyway uh, let's just say that you want to let's let's just uh, pretend that uh, this uh, scroll here is uh, flying in the air then you can just uh, hold down shift and you can select each separate entity so let's say we want to uh, I don't know let's say we want to move this and we want it to be uh, on this side instead so do that just hit it all again the prefab and if you want to save this for the future you can just uh, hit save of course so that's a 
very easy how you can update. All right, sorry guys, for some reason it crashed before. Uh, I think it might have something to do with the fact that I had placed um, two of the same prefab. But uh, I just went ahead and uh, did the same, made a minor edit to this and hit save and there were no problem. So not entirely sure why it happened. Uh, but let's just move on and uh, try and make this cart with the rocks into a new prefab. So just like before, we hit the parent entity. Uh, let's just call it cart. Stone bricks. Seems like a, a decent name. And we just go ahead and make sure everything is selected. We actually don't want to select the parent, so that's fine. And it looks like all of these are there. So I think that's fine. And now we just assign new parent. Let's find the cart. Cart stone bricks. And yes. And there you have it. Just like before, we have a prefab now. And now we want to save it. So, we have the name. And you just hit save as native. Gonna save all that. Uh, I could save uh, the XML, but I think I'm fine. All right, so this time we will probably put it somewhere else. Prefabs, why not? And just the same name, just to make sure we can find it. Okay. Let's see if we can find it. And there we have it. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a like and share the video. And I'll see you in the next. Bye.